check one, two. Headphones are on. We're doing some screen capturing, and I'm going to do a tutorial here with Photoshop and Premiere Pro. And uh, we're going to import some alpha channel layers and make some cool effects. Can you guys see this cursor? Hang on, I'm gonna, we're going to fix this. Boom! Now that's it. <laughs> This cursor is ridiculous. Look at that thing. It's huge. All right. Uh, a little while ago, I uploaded a video about a paint tutorial on making a squirt gun into a ray gun. Real simple, quick fix. Well, I had a lot of comments and questions, not so much about the paint tutorial, but about the ray beam effect that I did in the video. And you can see it here. Let's just watch. Pew. Ronald ray gun. Pew. 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 And uh, that's just so ridiculous. But that all that is is just a simple um, effect where I imported a Photoshop layer. And let me just double click on this is the actual project of that episode. I imported this Photoshop layer, and you can see it here with the alpha channeled background. And this is the ray beam. And let me just um, we'll open this up in Photoshop so you guys can see it. Here's my alpha channeled ray beam. And you can see, let me turn the black on. I was going to have it pulsate, but I just ended up using this. I thought this one looked good enough and I just made the background see-through took out the top layer saved it and imported this Photoshop file now some of you might be saying well, wait 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 I want to know how you made the ray beam look at that thing well Google laser beam and you can see and just try to duplicate it if you're not familiar alright I'll show you real quick basically I, I hate showing these uh, Photoshop tutorials because I don't want you guys to learn one way of doing it so definitely experiment keep in mind this is just my way of doing it this might not even be the right way but this is just how I do it so here's my bar I'll create a, uh, a layer here this is a see-through layer when I take the eyeball off you can see it's just by itself there and let's make a beam uh, red all red boom so there it is and you can see it's not very impressive so we're gonna actually drag this down and duplicate it so now we have two and I'll just separate it so you can see here's our two layers both red. I'm going to go up here to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. I like Gaussian blur because I can control it. And you can see there's starting to get a little bit of our effect. So there's the glowing effect. That's on the top layer. Underneath it is the other bar. And the reason I made two of these is because I want to make different intensities of the blur. The one underneath it, I'm going to have it be even more of a blur. Actually, maybe I'll make it less. Yeah, so it'll be a little less. So there's some intensity now something you'll notice if you ever look at laser beams you actually see a white layer in the middle that's what is like the brightest part of the laser and that's what kinda adds the realism so as I was talking just now I made a very top layer we have three layers here on the very top layer I made this white stripe and you can see that's actually pretty cool but we'll put a little bit of a blur on it and I'll just bring it down just enough because you want it to be apparent and so here's our three layers so it starts out we blurred one, we gave it a little bit of a brightness effect, and then the white beam. And what we'll do is highlight all those and merge those together so you only have two layers. And you can go in here and kind of, um, you can clean up the edge or whatever, or put different types of, if you want to add more uh, blur effects or make it like, whoosh, you can make it wavy. You know, this is just, there you go. So this would be our effect, and we would save it like this. Actually, let's just do it. I'll just save it, save it as red. So there's our laser beam effect. Now let's import it. And this is what you're going to see when you import it. You'll come into your file here, import. We'll import the red laser beam. And it's going to give you a menu. Your editor might act differently, uh, but in Premiere, this is what it's going to give you. It's going to want to merge all layers. You don't want that. You want individual layers. And this is our layer that we want, layer 2. So we do that. It imports it. Double click on it. And there's our laser beam. So we'll just drop that down so I can show you guys real quick. That's the beam, and you have all the controls for the motion and resize it. And what you do is just resize it, position it, enter some key points if you need to, rotate it so it fits the way your gun looks. You can move it around here. I'm just showing you real quick. Put it into position, and you can even just grab. And I'm showing you guys this because this used to be the old school way I would do effects before After Effects kind of took over the world. But I just wanted to show in case a lot of you didn't realize that just because there's an effect doesn't mean you have to use After Effects. Like, uh, this, I think these are some of the coolest, easiest, simplest effects, and it's just importing a layered. <laughs> Boom. So there it is. So that's what that looks like. And all right, we're already up to five minutes. So I'm going to end this tutorial real quick. I had another 
couple emails and comments and questions about this little bug that I run at the top corner of my show and that's using the same technique if I double click on this there's my graphic I imported that the only thing that's different is I just changed the opacity so it's see-through so if I bring that up you can see how it darkens and then if I change the size so that's just using an alpha channel Photoshop file and lastly but not least I'll show you one last effect I did and I'm really just showing you guys this just so you get some ideas and hopefully this will inspire you to try some other stuff out and realize that you don't need After Effects to do some really cool effects. Um, right here in the opening of my video, let's see if I can find it here, um, I have this little graphic that runs, sorry about that noise. And all that is is just that same technique again. You can see here, here's the graphic I brought in, except I brought it down, we'll drop it on top of this layer here so you can see this. And I just gave it an opacity effect. And I just changed the color to like soft. That didn't work, so let's try hard. Boom. So there you can see, and if you run that over your video, it makes simple static graphics suddenly look like they're high tech in a way. Maybe that's not that impressive. I thought it turned out kind of cool for as much. I mean, literally, it's just a, um, a Photoshop file that I ran some video behind it, it turns it into a a cool little animated graphic in a way. So anyways, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Almost seven minutes. Yeeks. All right. Uh, definitely leave some comments below if you have anything you'd like to see. If this helped you at all, let me know. I try to read all the comments. Send me a message if you have any questions and any suggestions and stuff you'd like to see in the future. All right. Thanks for watching. Go out and make some movies. All right. Look at that mouse. Look at that thing. That thing's ridiculous. Love it. All right. Send us in your uh, mini movies too, man. 30 second mini films. And also check us out on Facebook if you haven't. Why are you still even watching this? There's so much to do, so little time. Alright, this better work. Click.